Hey what's up guys, Venanda here and welcome back to another video. You guys probably know the anti-Coco situation that's been going on for months now at this point, but I'll give you a rundown of the situation as fast as possible if you're not familiar. Back around 5 months ago at this point, first Hachima and then Coco showed their YouTube analytics to show the countries where most of their fans come from. These analytics include a country known as Taiwan with a population of over 25 million people. In a gross oversimplification of the political situation, Taiwan claims to be an independent country in its own right, and China claims Taiwan to be a part of the People's Republic of China under the One China policy. They even refuse to have any diplomatic relations with any countries that support Taiwan being independent. I don't really want to get into that, because you could have a whole channel dedicated to the mess that is that whole situation. Basically, because they included Taiwan in the list of countries, Chinese nationalists started a hate campaign against the two, but especially Coco. As a note, YouTube includes Taiwan and Hong Kong in the list of countries because YouTube is banned in mainland China. This situation ended with Coco and Hachima getting suspended by cover for three weeks. The hate campaign has kept up for Coco ever since, with some persistent spammers sticking around on her channel. Her streams get more dislikes than the average for whole live members of a similar size. Of course, the small amount of dislikes is still pale in comparison to her like count, but it is still noticeable. So, now that I've explained the history, I will get on with the main topic of the video. Coco had a stream on the 2nd of March where she played the new Yakuza game, called Yakuza 7 International, which was releasing on the PS5. This stream was sponsored by Sega, who are the publishers and creators of the Yakuza series. And well, the antis were in full force for this stream, because they were not happy with Sega sponsoring Coco. They wanted Sega to cut ties with Coco over what happened months ago. Coco tweeted out the stream as usual, and her tweet was then quote tweeted by the official Sega account to promote the stream. It's basically said, I'm looking forward to the Kiryu Koko stream in Japanese. On the tweet, you can see that most of the comments are from people happy for Koko and hyped for the stream. And I can understand why. I mean, Yakuza is a great game, perfect type of game for Koko to stream. It seemed like a match made in heaven. However, the antis did not see it that way. I'll read out a selection of the comments. Bear in mind that it is a very small minority of comments that are against Koko in any way, and most were very supportive. Really disappointed, don't deal with this guy, thumbs down. When Chinese forgave him, he betrayed and insulted Chinese fans. The main character of your work is the messenger of justice. Do you get dirty with people like this? The translation seems a little off on that one, but you probably get the message. There is another long one which reads, Kiryu is an anchor on political issues. As a player, I think Yakuza 0 is a good neutral and friendly story, so I like to buy several copies very much. I buy all of the games of Atlas and Vanilla Club, and the sales of P4 in China are also very good. So I hope you know that Kiryu Koko is a problem anchor who supports China's split and abuses Chinese audiences. Well, this comment is essentially threatening Sega by saying, Your games sell well in China. If you associate with this problem person, then we won't buy your games anymore. The comment also accuses Koko of abusing Chinese audiences, which is ridiculous because number one, she does not abuse Chinese audiences, and number two, it is the Chinese audiences that are abusing her. There were a few more messages, but the translation seems too mangled to read. Either that, or the original messages don't make much sense. So yeah, the Chinese antis of Coco, whilst the minority are very vocal about the hatred of the streamer and have tried to get her cancelled essentially. It's not just in the replies to this tweet either, if you look at the hashtags for the game, it's filled with this kind of nonsense. They also spammed on Coco's stream. According to a source I will link in the description, I'm not sure how reliable this source is, so take it with a huge grain of salt, but Coco's moderators, who are some of the best in the business at shutting down this kind of thing, they banned or removed over 2,000 YouTube accounts from this one stream alone with the average for Coco being around 1,000 accounts. Also, I'm not sure if they actually mean accounts or individual messages, but either way, that's some incredible work by the mods. This huge increase in removed messages shows the need for moderators in VTubers' chats, and also shows that the antis aren't done with Coco. She's gone through a lot because of their actions, and I'm afraid that they are going to get to her. Coco's a strong girl, but the continued haters can get to anyone. It's obvious that all YouTubers get hate messages, and every video with a good amount of views gets disliked, but the antis for Coco have stuck around much longer than anyone expected. As for the solution, I'm not really sure there is one. The increase in moderation on Coco's channel is a great start, but I don't know what else you could do. My idea to make this video, and a lot of the research, came from a Reddit post by u slash facto 20310, which I will link in the description below. To end this video, I wanted to give you a bit of a warning. I don't want the comment section of this video to become an anti-Chinese bandwagon, because then you're no better than the antis. It's not all of the Chinese fans that are like this, just a hardcore minority. And it's important for you to remember that Coco is loved by so many more people than she is hated by. Whatever amount of antis she has cannot compare to the number of fans that she has. So thank you for watching this video, leave a like if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.